Uh, well, we're not encouraging the fact that uh, we want rain, but it has been rather dry and the atmosphere continues to be dry. So we are going to alleviate that with getting just a little bit of shower activity coming our way, especially tonight. But Storm Team 4 Max Radar sweeping across southeastern Wisconsin, already showing just a few light showers developing down to the south, right along into the north of the Wisconsin-Illinois border. Let me zoom you in at the neighborhood level, show you in Walworth County, just to the north of Walworth, to the south of Darien, and just to the south of 43. Uh, a little isolated raindrop or two coming down there. Some heavier stuff in Kenosha County, uh, straddling 94 and just to the east of Salem to the west of the city of Kenosha. Again, this is not going to amount to a hill of beans. I think we get a better likelihood of seeing some more accumulating rainfall as we go through the evening and nighttime hours tonight. But outside right now, a live look from our downtown tower camp. Spectacular sky conditions out there again, looking to the northwest. Just those thin clouds filtering the sun. Any weather headlines? We're going to remain above average for the time being. It's going to be a wet and windy Wednesday, but get ready for a fine finish to this work week. This morning's lows, hard to even call them lows. They're about twice as warm as they were over the weekend. 53, the low temperature in Watertown, double nickels in Waukesha, 57 in Milwaukee, and all those 60 degree low in Racine and also in Sheboygan. Outside right now, flirting with 70 in Sheboygan, 70 on the nose for you fine folks joining us in Fondy, Nitschke's in Waukesha, and almost 70 degrees in Milwaukee and Racine. We're a few degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this time, so that warming trend continues and the winds continue out of the southwest, the warm direction, anywhere between 10 and 15 miles an hour. As we widen out the view across the Badger Land, again, just those thin clouds around here, thicker clouds up to the north. We've got a frontal boundary kind of uh, bisecting across the Badger Land, across the central part of our state, and I think we're going to continue to see moisture lifting to the north along with little disturbance that'll push more precipitation our way as we go through the evening and into the nighttime hours tonight. There you see it on future forecast as we head toward 8 o'clock. Expect a few of those showers and then through the day tomorrow, a few more scattered raindrops as well. So your storm team forecast for the balance of today looks like it's going to be a summery one. Sunny to partly cloudy, very warm. A few isolated raindrops, not a big deal, up to 72. Then for tonight, more likely we see some showers developing between 7 and midnight. Mostly cloudy and warm down to 56. And then for tomorrow, keep the umbrellas handy. Not an all-day washout, partly cloudy. Windy again, very warm up to 71, but some scattered rain. Your storm team for seven-day forecast calling for things to cool off and dry off on Thursday. About 60 degrees for a high. Only the 50s on Friday with a few more clouds. And then I think we get another round of rain coming our way as we head into Saturday. Temperatures back up to near 62. Second half of the weekend looking dry. Sunday near double nickels, but partly to mostly sunny skies. Stick around. We've got much more ahead right here on today's TMJ4. Don't go anywhere.